This fisherman spotted a log in the lake then suddenly knew it was a helpless figure drowning Surrounded by the serenity of nature the fisherman was enjoying a springtime evening away from the hustle and bustle The Pennsylvania Lake was still except for what looked like a log nearby splashing along in the current Then suddenly with a start the angler realized that it was no log and that it wasn't splashing it was flailing He therefore had to act fast before it was too late Brad Mack is a keen fisherman from the small town of Everett in Pennsylvania and on Sunday May 21st 2017 he packed his rod for Racetown Lake in the state's Huntington County in pursuit of his pastime So it was that Mech found himself in the peace and quiet of the reservoirs James Creek seeking his catch of the day However, when he first set out that day There was no way Mech could have known what the size of his biggest catch would be and that it wasn't a fish that disturbed the peace of the evening When the movement in the water first caught his eye though the seasoned angler dismissed the brown object as a log floating along in the lake there was no reason to believe otherwise after all Racetown Lake is surrounded by wooded areas So it was a fair assumption to make as the supposed log drew closer. However, Max started to doubt his initial guess Yes, the object seemed to be covered in fur meaning it was probably one of the locales indigenous aquatic animals a Couple days later the fisherman spoke to ABC News about the encounter. I saw it coming towards me I thought it was just a beaver or something like that he recalled but when the mystery object came more closely into view Max saw that he had been totally mistaken The angler just could not believe what he had discovered bobbing along in the lake It got closer and I looked at it and I thought holy crap He remembered it was a member of the indigenous wildlife All right, but not one you'd likely expect to see struggling to tread water in the middle of a lake What Mech had spotted in the water was actually a brown bear cub and the little fellow was in serious trouble in fact, the fisherman told ABC News that by that stage, the exhausted cub could only just keep its snout raised above the waterline. Mac also described how the bear seemed to be asking for his help. In his TV interview, Mac explained how the bear cub appeared to be swimming towards his boat. It was as if the little animal was asking him to come to its aid. The angler then looked at the helpless baby bear and knew instinctively that there was only one thing that he could do in good conscience. Mac prepared himself to reach down and scoop the struggling creature out of the water. What's more it was only split seconds before he made contact with the animal that he suddenly had doubts about what he was doing Was he really going to pick up a bear cub? Just as I was about ready to grab it. I thought to myself. Please don't bite me Mac recalled However, it would seem that the cub was just happy to be rescued It definitely showed no interest in sinking its teeth into the man who'd saved its life It was as calm as it can be. It didn't show any hostility towards me Mac told ABC News even so the fisherman could be forgiven if he was somewhat unsettled by the encounter Subsequently mech had a decision to make he had a wild bear on his boat and no idea what to do with it Not only that, but there was no phone reception out in Racetown Lake, so he was unable to consult an expert for advice One thought did cross mech's mind. However, I saw the direction it was swimming in he explained and because of this the fisherman thought the most likely explanation for the cub being stranded out in the creek was that it had lost its mother while crossing the lake He therefore set off in the same direction in hope of putting the baby bear safely back on its original path I kind of figured maybe the mom swam across first mech said and because the baby was so little it was struggling I just figured she'd be up on the bank somewhere he concluded with that in mind the fisherman traveled across the water on the other side of the lake mech deposited the bear cub safely back on terra firma and it immediately went off in its own way Pausing only to glance back at the fisherman who had saved its life with that look It was almost as if the little animal was thanking mech for his big-hearted act However, although the fisherman's actions saved the bear from drowning state officials don't recommend that others follow his lead The Pennsylvania Game Commission has asked the public to avoid touching wild animals even in similar circumstances Why because it's possible that mech was putting himself in terrible danger sure the bear cub was docile enough, but just as the angler thought mommy bear could well have been close by Brown bear attacks on humans are more common when mothers are fighting to protect their cubs Mac then could have well been seen as a threat by this cubs panicked mother The Commission's reasoning may also be to prevent possible bear urbanization Although brown bears prefer the wilderness if they get too comfortable around humans then they'll lose their natural wariness This could in turn result in bears raiding urban areas in search of food and that would obviously present a danger.
the Pennsylvania Game Commission has asked for anyone in a similar situation to call it for help for his part as he stated Mech had no phone signal out on the lake when he faced his dilemma and he reacted on instinct and although he doesn't consider himself a hero many animal lovers would disagree the cub was going to drown if I didn't help it Mac told ABC News I never thought anything else other than to get it and help it and take it to shore his ideal outcome was for the bear to find its mother hopefully they can get reunited again he concluded here's to the brave and compassionate fisherman's hopes being answered